Drago made it, let it bang. Let's take another look at Blender and let's work on some more basics for getting into modding for NBA 2K on the PC. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start up Blender. Again, I'm using Blender 2.79, okay? So you can just click off of, well, click somewhere and that little splash screen goes away. Okay, so if you're new to Blender, this is how it looks when it starts up. So what I'm gonna help you guys do today for you guys that are new to Blender and new to uh, modding NBA 2K on PC, I'm gonna help you set up your, your Blender startup file so you don't have to see this stuff when it's here. Now, when you load up Blender and it's here, what you can do is you can go to your keyboard, press the letter A, and you see the, the cube was deselected. Now, if you press A again, everything is selected. If you press delete, it'll ask you if it's okay to delete. And you can, you should be able to just press X. Uh, no, X won't do it. Well, you can press enter and enter will allow you to delete everything that's there. So once everything is deleted, what you can do is, well, I'll show you something else real quick. If you're specifically using Blender for NBA 2K modding purposes, you want to go over to this right here, the the scene, um, I guess, I, I don't know what this is. You want to pull up the scene panel, I guess is what it's called. All right. So let me let me stretch this out so you guys can see it. It's this third one here. All right. So now if you watch my previous video and you have the add-ons already added into Blender, if you scroll down to the bottom, okay, you'll see right here we have the NBA 2K XX importer panel. And in that right little corner by that, we can just drag it up. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it to the top. And now that's at the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and save startup file. Now you can just press control U, but I'm going to click save startup file. Again, it's asking me if it's okay. I, I can press enter or I can just go ahead and click save startup file which I did here. So now when I exit Blender, I'm going to exit Blender. Uh, that's all right. We don't care about quitting. Then I'm going to start Blender back up. And as you can see, there's nothing here. And also we are, we have our NBA 2K XX importer panel right at the top. So now when we start Blender up, we'll be able to just Go ahead and find our files and load them right up every time without having to move things around. So that's pretty good. But yeah, so we did all of that by saving our startup file. And once you save the startup file once, you really don't have to mess with it again. Um, that was a basic tip for Blender as far as, uh, you know, modding NBA 2K goes. That tip for having your starter file saved, that was, that was a small tip, but it's going to be very helpful. Now, real quick, I'll show you how you can import your files like I just did. Uh, let's get rid of this. Let's delete it. So... Let's say we just started things up. You'll come here to the importer, click the little folder, and you'll have to find where you have your high head scene and also your 3D model file. They'll both need to be in the same folder. Now, some of you will not know what I'm talking about right away, but that's okay. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that means you're still learning. That's okay. Um, just make sure you follow this. This will come back to you once you start to get more familiar with the files, okay? So we're going to click on highhead.scene. Remember, the model and the scene file need to be in the same folder.
click on hothead.scene, click accept, then click import. And then there you have it. It's going to import your 3D file. Now, if you want to zoom out so that you can see the entire model, um, all you have to do is press, hold on, let me see. You can press control on your keyboard and then your middle mouse click button to just scroll out. So if you have like a middle, uh, a mouse that only has like the left and right buttons, then you won't be able to do it this way. But there is another way to do it. I just can't remember right now. But if you do have the little middle mouse click button, you can press control on the keyboard and then hold down the middle mouse click button while scrolling away from the model and that will allow you to see the entire model now I'm moving this this model around by clicking clicking and holding the middle mouse click button and then moving the model around and then if you want to change the views just press the number five on the number pad you see the view kind of changed And then if you want to go like to the back view of the model, press one on the number pad. If you want to see the front of the model, you can press control one. If you want to see the side of the model, you can press three. And then to flip it to the other side, you can press control three. All right. I think seven. Yeah, seven shows you the top. And then let's see control seven shows you the bottom where the feet are so I'm gonna go back to control one on the number pad right back in front press five it changes views all right control one all right so that is how you import the model so today I've shown you guys how you can uh, get your blender startup file to be right where you want it every time you load up blender and also i've shown you how to import a model but just for you know just for kicks and giggles i guess we'll go through this one more time so you guys can understand it. i want to make things easy as possible for you so again we're using blender 2.79 we're going to open up the program just click anywhere we're going to, as you can see, our startup is exactly how we want it to be. I'm going to go over here to the NBA 2KXX importer panel. Click on the little folder. Find our files, wherever our file is located. You can also paste addresses up here. Click highhead.scene. Click accept. And then click import. And then it loads it up again. You can uh, you can zoom out by pressing Control plus holding down the middle mouse click button and scrolling away. Press five to change the view mode. Five. Press Control one to show the player directly facing forward. And you can go back through the rest of the video, the uh, prior parts of the video for all the other instructions. But I just wanted to go back through that with you guys so you can see how it's done. Um, I've still got to work on some things as far as what I'm going to be showing you guys. But this has been yet another Blender tip. And I hope this helps you guys get into modding NBA 2K even more. All right, because not only is it fun playing the game, but it can be fun creating items, objects, players, characters for the game also. All right, guys, I'm gone.